Uh, hopefully you can hear us. I had to find the live. I could, we were almost late. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a little bit of buffering during this, so uh, please be patient. Um, this is super new to us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you should uh, probably oh. check the comments because I already saw a bunch of them flying by. Yeah, okay. Hold on, guys. Oops. Yeah, this is going to take us a little bit because we haven't really done a walk around live. Uh, hey, Sean. Hey, Ken. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Hi, Mo and Jen. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Everybody's here. Hi, guys. Hi, Nick. Okay. So what lake are we at? It's the... Uh... This is Ho Hoon Kim Lake. Uh, let's show it to you guys. Okay, I'm uh, gonna get the comments figured out. Okay. Uh, we had pho for breakfast. <laughs> I'd venture to anywhere. Hello. Can you guys hear us okay? We're getting comments uh, pulled up on Liz's phone. Um. Not, not on studio, go to YouTube. These, <laughs> um, you, your channel. And there you go. Okay. Yes, this is really pretty. This uh, place has blown us away. <laughs> yes. Rocks for sobriety's here. Oh, nice. All right, so it took about 18, 18 hours of travel to get here. Yeah. Uh, two planes. We had a layover in South Korea. Um, it was all very interesting. I mean, down to the airplane food, we um, we had some Korean food on the plane. We'll yeah. show that in a video, next Sunday's video. Yeah, next Sunday's video will be us getting here and uh, our first morning here. <laughs> yeah. Today is actually uh, the morning of day two. It is Thursday morning for us. Um, yes, it's pretty warm in Vietnam right now. I just had to wipe all the sweat off my yeah. face. <laughs> We've been constantly sweating. We've heard it takes about a month to fully acclimate. So um, that should be interesting. Yeah. But we're making sure we're getting lots of electrolytes and uh, staying hydrated. And uh, Nick, it is 9 a.m. here. Um, so 9 a.m. on Thursday morning for us. Yeah, and we woke up about 5.30 this morning, Vietnam time. Yeah. Uh, we've already gone out and had breakfast and coffee, which were amazing. We um, There's this alleyway by our hotel where they uh, make fresh pho, which is a, a Vietnamese soup. And we had it with tofu, and it was just amazing. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, and um, the coffee here is like out of this world. If you like strong coffee, um, it's so good. I've been having this coconut coffee both mornings. Oh man, this morning her coconut coffee looked like a dessert. It was a dessert. It was amazing. Yeah. I, I had a uh, salted coffee this morning, which was pretty good. It's like, <laughs> it, it's literally what it sounds like. It's salty coffee and it actually yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. Um, so we're okay. going we're gonna to take you guys around. Uh, we're just going to walk around and uh, probably just point the camera forward, show you guys the sights. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, throw them up on there and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll chat with you guys while we walk. There actually is a couple questions. So somebody's asking what the haze is. Oh yes, the haze. That is, uh, it, it could be fire smoke from uh, the burning rice fields, but it is probably also pollution. Yeah, Vietnam is one of the most highly polluted countries, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it doesn't smell bad here, but yeah. uh, it definitely, you know, it dries your throat out from talking yeah. and, and such. 
And Vietnam is a, it's a developing country. It's no longer, um, the term third world country is kind of outdated and not really, it's offensive to Vietnamese people. So um, it's a developing country. So we're coming into this country with a very open mind. Yeah. Um, and Lisa said we need a mask for for the pollution. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I need to get this taken care of and tamed down a little bit before I can get a, um, a mask. Which we're going to film for you guys. Yeah. Charlie getting his beard cut here. Because not many people have beards here. <laughs> yeah. So it should be interesting. Uh, my asthma is good. Um, hi, Mom. Uh, and uh, I'm doing good. Last night, uh, going to bed, my throat was sore a little bit. We walked 11 miles yesterday. So, um, yeah. Let's walk some more. It may be a little shaky for you guys. Uh, I apologize. The YouTube doesn't really have the anti-shake. But let's show you guys around. Oh, Coffee and Traveling has friends in Hanoi. That's awesome. Yeah. The people here are so amazing, like just so smiley and just laughing all the time. It's been really cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, everybody here so far is really nice. Uh, at this uh, at this lake, we do get bombarded by people. Um, yeah, this tree is awesome. We do get bombarded with by people trying to sell us stuff and uh, give us rides and such. Uh, because we're like right in the heart of tourist uh, town. Yeah. yeah, the rickshaw guys, they, uh, they really want you to, ah! to Bless you. Get, uh, get on their rickshaws. Yes, you can fish in that lake. We actually have seen some uh, giant fish in this lake. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, lady. <laughs> come, come on. See, we're already getting recognized by the locals. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree I would not eat anything out of this lake either, but uh, fishing's not all about eating. <laughs> just ask Liz. What were you saying? Sorry, I was distracted. The fishing. Oh, the fishing? Yeah. They're, at, they're, not... they're asked if you can fish in this lake. And... Oh yeah, oh, a fish just jumped over there. Oh. That would have been cool to see. Actually, I think I see a fish right here. See if I can catch one for you. You're gonna catch one? You're gonna jump just in there? Barehanded, just catch drop. it with your teeth. You know, for being a, a quite a popular city or <laughs> populated city, um, there there is some garbage in the lake, but not a whole lot. Yeah. I keep missing um, the fish. How's how's your Vietnamese working? Um, really well. Um, they're very receptive to us even trying, and I know yeah. that our Vietnamese is horrible. Um, but they enjoy it, and we enjoy practicing it. We've, we've only learned a few phrases, but it really gets you a long way. And knowing our numbers really helps with money. And Yeah, and everybody, uh, like, when, when you ask how much something is, they'll pull out money from their uh, wallet and show you how much it is. Yeah, Google Translate is our best friend as well. Yes. Well, I'm not seeing as many fish as uh, we saw yesterday, but let's, let's, uh, let's keep going. Do they understand us? Yeah, a lot of us under a lot of a lot of them understand us, but a lot of them will tell you if they don't understand. So you can pull out Google Translate. And uh, oh, how how much do we have to pay to fish? There actually is no fishing license process here in Vietnam, so it's open to anyone and everyone. Now there are some regulations, though. Um, like there's a certain type of fishing where they actually electrocute the fish and that is illegal. So I still have some to learn before I start fishing. Uh, somebody just asked if free. we've seen any animals. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> we're seeing some right now. There's a bunch of pigeons right here. Uh, last night when we were walking around, we did see a couple rats on the street. And uh, what's funny is we were not freaked out. <laughs> we were both like, oh, cool, look, rats. <laughs> uh, a lot of food is cooked on the streets here, so 
there is a lot of garbage that the rats come and clean up at the end of the day. Oh, these ladies are dancing. You can tell that the people here have a lot of joy in their lives. They're always just smiley and just doing fun things. Yeah. And it's interesting when you don't know the language observing people in that way. Like their demeanors. Yeah. So we are in Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam. Um, and it's kind of the old school region too. They, they do things a little more traditionally here, I guess. Um, and the food is a little different and even the language is a little different. Yeah. So, and I understand like the southern food is sweeter and the northern food is more like a rich flavor. So, but we've definitely had lots of sweet stuff here so far. Uh, Maui Howie asked if we've had culture shock. It's more of a uh, city shock for us. <laughs> <laughs> Culture, and culture shock hasn't shock. really set in yet. Um, oh, for me, the at least. culture shock when we were dropped off from our taxi uh, into yeah. that alleyway. It was the middle of the night, and this like alleyway that looks like something out of a like a Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, it like, literally it was. Yeah, <laughs> cats Hollywood meowing, got it right. Um, a, a drunkard was walking down the <laughs> the alleyway. It was just, I don't know. It was cool. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Jeff, uh, from Hunting Rocks. Uh, he oh wants my gosh. to see a wild monkey. Jeff, uh, we're going to work for that wild monkey, I promise you. Thank you so much for that donation. Gosh. Are you getting more looks for filming or Charlie's beard? Uh, we are the large, uh, I am the largest American in this place. <laughs> uh, I went up to buy a shirt. Um, I, and then I asked the lady, I said, uh, um, do they, do you have my size? She's like, I don't think anyone has your size. <laughs> <laughs> They're very honest people too. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Cause like I, pu I pulled up a, a 3X shirt. Um, hold on, let me switch around and talk to you guys. So I pulled up a, a 3X shirt and uh, held it up against me. Probably the size of a large in America uh, for a 3X. And uh, yeah. So I think I'd need at least a 6X. Uh, I normally wear like a 4X because I like my shirts loose. <laughs> and you're hearing lots of honking. The honking isn't because people are in their way. It's just their way of saying, hey, I'm coming around the corner. Yeah. But it's all the time. How is it? How's it priced? Oh. oh, thank you, Coffee Traveling. Oh my Very gosh. Nice. Uh, thank you. The pricing here, um, well, prices are pretty cheap. So, okay, how much does breakfast cost? So, we went out for pho for breakfast. It was and, 95K? And for both of us, no, for, for the pho, I don't think we can film this building over here on the left. It's a, I think it's a government building, but it might just be a bank. Um, so we went out for pho, and the pho was 35. Xin no, chào, uh, không cảm ơn. Không cảm ơn. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I get distracted easily. <laughs> so uh, the, the pho was, uh, I think, 35,000. Dong, which equivalates, equivalates, is equivalent to about a dollar, dollar thirty for the pho. So for both of us for breakfast, it was like two sixty, and then we went out for coffee at the probably the most touristy place in Hanoi. No, thank you. And uh, um. And the coffee was $4 for, for mine and Liz, and they were like deluxe coffees, so. Yeah, it was like fancy. We had this view of this like historic church and the traffic going by. It was 
an amazing coffee experience. It was. However, our first morning, our coffees were like a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. USD. Yeah, and uh, it was pretty much across the street from where we went today. And it was still amazing, yeah. with a similar view. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what Liz said was Konkomon, uh, which is no thank you, because the, the rickshaw driver guys, every one of them waves at you and says, hey, come on, you want to ride? And Konkomon uh, means uh, no thank you. It's, yeah, it's probably the most used phrase. Is there any Cafe Amazon there? Uh, we have not seen a Cafe Amazon, but we haven't yeah. been looking for them. Okay. Careful, there's an official here. I know, I'm filming um, us. This is, it is a communist country, uh, but um, we do, the real big thing is that we just have to avoid officials and official buildings. There's fish jumping out here. All right, I'm gonna try and catch a fish jump. We're still around the lake. <laughs> Obviously there's a like, fish jumping here. Oh, here's a fish. There we go. Um, Let's see, I'll zoom in. What funky flavors do they have at Hagadons? We have not gone to an Americanized uh, place yet. <laughs> but we've seen like at the airport there was a bur or it wasn't in the airport, it was in Hanoi. There's Burger King and Pizza Hut, which is really weird to see. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry for the zooming. It's hard to zoom on this thing. Um, and uh oh my gosh thank you mom <laughs> yes thank you well uh, we were not expecting these donations yeah, so we were not. you guys thank you thank you very much um what were we saying oh we there was a popeyes burger king mix uh in town here i think for new year's or something they're, they're going to have fireworks here uh and maybe a concert. And I think that's what they're building. This thing wasn't even here yesterday. So they built all that this morning or last night. Yeah, the fish are pretty decent size, Lisa. I'm excited to try some fishing. I don't know if I'm gonna fish here in the big city though. I kind of want to do that when we get out in the country. The back of this uh, building looks like a cruise ship. Crossing the road is really interesting. We'll do that with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, we should take them into, into town yeah. town. Oh, Molly, how are you? you? haven't been to Hanoi yet, but you have been to Saigon, which is the Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, in Da Nang. That's awesome. Uh, Maui, how are you? We hope to meet up with you if we get over to uh, Thailand. I think that will be really exciting. Have you seen or met any other Americans? We've seen a few Americans. Uh, I mean, not just Americans, but like uh, a lot of other, like we've seen some uh, Russians, some Germans. Uh, there will be a lot of Americans at this uh, coffee shop here. Yeah, that's probably the most famous coffee shop in Hanoi. Yeah. Um, it's kind of cool. There's like a, the, it's the note cafe, and they have sticky notes that you can draw on and write on. And yeah, we'll walk by so I can show you the the sticky notes here. Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. Oh my gosh, Lisa. You guys are amazing. You thank you so much. Support us so much. Like we are in Vietnam because of all of our friends. It just you guys make me emotional. Okay, see, there's American. Um, <laughs> we'll cross here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. There's Americans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, you just start walking. Yeah, don't stop, you guys. And you don't want to stop. Walking, I mean, this is a big brain. gap in, in traffic, <laughs> but usually you cross more like this. And one adventure at a time. Are you guys trying to make me cry? <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are so brave. You are inspiring us to spread our wings. 
one adventure at a time. It, Dave and Carrie, you guys were the ones that gave us the courage to do van life. And for you to say that is just huge. So this is the note coffee place. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> but everybody writes notes and sticks them all over, like even on the ceiling in here. Okay, so my mom asked, how do we get across the street? Oh, hold on, hold on. What? I want to ask this guy something. Uh, found you? 300,000 dollars. 300,000? Okay, so about six dollars? Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. So, so basically, crossing the street. Uh, <laughs> We're doing two different things here. We're so excited to show you guys everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just go uh, to cross the street. And... Uh, oh, Nick from Rocks for Sobriety, thank you so much. Thank you. Um... Now, you guys are making us speechless here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on here. There is so much love in these comments. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you, guys. Yeah, you, you close your eyes and go. That's pretty much true. Um, you basically, I mean, as you see, I'm walking in the street here. And uh, because there's no room on the sidewalk over here because of all the bikes. Um, and a lot of these ladies uh, in their bikes have these speakers, too. Uh, yes, we bought a tourist SIM card at the airport. We only got one. Come, come on. Come, come on. All right, so we'll show you how to cross the street here on this super busy street. So there is a crosswalk, but people still just keep going. <laughs> Uh, that was a bad example. So basically crossing the street, you just wait for all the cars to go by and uh, you, you kind of put your hand out in front of you and they'll just go around you. Sometimes they'll stop, but usually they'll just go around you. It's, it's just the blind faith in uh, in people. Yeah. Motorbikes can did go you around you. Did you question about the SIM card? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did get a SIM card. Um, let's see. What was it? Oh. So yeah, basically, if you don't see any uh, um, any cars coming, you can cross because the cars don't stop for you. And uh, the, um, the motorbikes will just kind of weave around you as you go. But once you start crossing the street, you can't stop because the motorbikes kind of, they, they see your trajectory and then they kind of just part the seas for you. Look at this lady with the flowers coming up. That bike is loaded down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Maui Howie said he, he gets a SIM card for about $15 a month in Thailand. Uh, how much? So we paid um, 360,000 uh, dong for uh, my SIM card, which I think is only like 14 or $18 US. It came to $13, I think. Well, when he gave me my change back, he gave me an extra 100 thousand accidentally I believe and uh, so it only cost two hundred and sixty thousand which came to like eleven dollars for three or one month or three months one month 120 gigs four gigabytes a day um, yeah and I got a, a phone number in Vietnam so I can call people can you guys hear us okay over all the the noise in the street because I know it's, it's quite busy do they use traffic lights? I see them, but it looks like they ignore them. Yeah, um, they yeah. mostly ignore them. And uh, people will drive on the sidewalk as well. So 
uh, one adventure at a time. Are you going to rent motorbikes and take us for a ride? Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> um, we don't know when, though. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. we're here for for months. So yeah, we and we need to observe too, watch other people driving around, and take it really seriously. Oh, good. You can't hear. It's okay. All right, okay. I'm gonna turn it back around. Keep walking. Oh, watch out, babe. Oh, same way. Sun Loy is excuse me. Yeah. Well, art gallery here. No, I'm gonna have to stop uh, no Sim thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to see and experience all of this with you. What's your place like? Uh, Sunday we'll be doing a tour of our hotel room. Uh, so I, I booked it blindly and then um, we were over at my mom's house and uh, I started reading the reviews after I'd already booked it and the reviews are horrible. But for what we paid, which is around 13 or 14 dollars a night, it's uh, it's not bad actually. It's pretty roomy. It's got a, uh, its own bathroom. It's got kind of a view of the buildings and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with our hotel room. Our standards are low. Yes, our standards are pretty low. We've, you know, we've been living in a yeah. RAV4. What does this lady have in her basket? It looks like cabbage. Uh... Yeah, cabbage, uh, zucchini, and green beans. So you got to be careful when filming those uh, ladies carrying the baskets because they uh, they'll charge you for filming them sometimes. Oh, Jake, we have only seen people fishing the lake in video. Yeah, but they do fish it. So, sixty minute massage, three fifty. Xin chào. Xin chào. We're just looking. Uh, we're just looking uh, to see what it costs. Yeah, it's from China for this for morning. Oh, okay. In here, uh, Vietnamese and aroma is the same medium massage. Medium, medium massage? massage? Yeah, okay. medium. But Vietnamese is better. Uh, okay. So you want to try combination, it, including Thai, Sui, and Vietnamese. Three in one. Oh, okay. It's very good. Clean finger, deep tissue, and palm. It's very good. If you want to try Vietnamese traditional, in here we have this cup of morning for under one hour. Okay, do you know how much that is US? Uh, in the US, 400. Um, it's like... For $15. $15? Yeah, $15. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Come on. And that's 60 minutes, right? Yeah, Okay, thank you. All right, so just figured I'd show you what a massage cost is here. Uh, about $15 for an hour uh, full massage. Um, there was nobody there, so I was showing you the thing. I guess this is Mas Massage Street because this is another massage. Foot massage for about $5 for 30 minute foot massage. Um, yeah. So, one adventure can't wait to see the country. Um, yeah, it, we can't wait either, but this, we can't skip this. It's, it's overwhelming, but this is something like no other. So yeah. we'll be here for a little bit and then we'll be itching to get out in the country. Um, you heard the book there, Charlie? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, I haven't had anybody come up to take pictures with me yet, but it's, we've only been here a day. Um, okay, so yeah, somebody asked if it quieted down. I think I saw. Who asked that? I have to tap on the screen to see. Um, oh, True North. True North, yeah. So, uh, it stays pretty busy most of the night through... Uh, this lady's taking out the garbage. Through midnight. Um, but we're on a quiet street. No, thank you. 
Come, come on. What? Oh, uh, no, come, thank you. Come, 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 come on. Get place, sir. So we're we're on a, a smaller street, which only a couple of motorbikes can fit through. Uh, so our street actually quiets down a lot. We actually, um, I need to shave first. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> um, uh, so we actually got two extra nights at our hotel because we liked it so much. It is 80 stairs going up to our hotel though. Uh, so that's a workout and a half. Um, love the hat the lady who's cleaning the street is wearing. Yeah, a lot of them wear those hats. Yes, the, the Vietnamese aunties are the most adorable people on the planet. And they run most of the shops along the streets. So I, I noticed there's like a theme in these streets here. Hang on one second, let me flip this around. So a lot of these shops along the street, they have the same kind of theme to them. Some oh, chat. Like almost half, more than half the shops on the street, as you can see, are like selling paint, spray paint, latex paint, uh, paint thinner, paint brushes. There was a street we went down yesterday that was all doorknobs, like the entire street. Um, the entire street was doorknobs. And that's a long street just to sell doorknobs. I don't know how this all works because this entire street all the way down to that, that light back there is paint. So how does that work? Oh, look at this guy on the bike here. All right, gonna, um, Ken and Nick are signing off. Ken's gotta, or Nick's gotta get the family to bed. Uh, okay, good, good night, night, you guys. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you for joining. Um, we'll probably bring this to an hour. We're about at a half hour now. Um, yeah. But we just, we wanna show you as much as we can in this slide. Kinda gotta be sneaky. Oh, this stuff is cool. This stuff is cool. Look at the, the work on these. And then again, so this street seems to be like wood products. Because oh, I mean, right across the street there, there's more wood products. So it's it's kind of like they have their um, their their shops arranged. Well, they have the streets named after things. I don't know if you said that because I can't hear you very well. No, but, I didn't say that. Um, like, there's Beer Street where all the bars are. There's. Um, um, wow, look at these. There's different kinds of streets named for what they are. It's very organized. Yeah. These are beautiful. I think these are lamps. They're interesting. Sin chào. Yeah, the carved dragon was beautiful. Yeah, see, and, and then there's more here, and then the same shop here. It's uh, a little coffee shop? Uh, no, I think that's more like wood products. And see that guy on his motorbike over there? Really Just smart. resting to the left? Oh. Yeah. So there's a napping culture in Vietnam where, um, middle of the day, they'll just take a rest and you'll see a lot of people uh, just laying on their motorbikes or just sleeping on the side of the street. They're not homeless, they're wow. just resting. That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's just like everywhere in here. Very cool. Uh, the Eat List restaurant. Some of the signs that are in I'm English it can be naps. kind of funny. Huh? I was uh, ventured anywhere said I'm moving there just for the naps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, yes. hi, Brad and Jeff. So, um, 
go ahead and uh, say what you just said again. Oh, the, some of the signs in English can be kind of funny because um, they're spelled wrong or whatever. I mean, it would be funny if we were trying to spell things in Vietnamese. So. Yeah. <laughs> but it is still good for a laugh. Oh, you guys can see those lamps on. And there's no such thing as pickup trucks here, if you've noticed. Uh, everybody just stacks their bikes up. So did, did you see Ken's comment about, is there a street called the Rock Street? I wish. <laughs> We, we haven't, haven't found it yet. <laughs> we're looking for a shop that sells like crystals and rocks and stuff. We haven't found anything yet. But I, I think when we get out a, to the a rock street. Different areas. Yeah. When we get into the mountains, that's where a lot of the gemstones and stuff are. So hoping we can find a gem market or a mine that we can go to. Yeah. Gosh. There's as far as the geology goes here, it's a lot of limestone. So hoping to find fossils too. Yeah. Those are beautiful things. Oh, look, they've already got statues of me. <laughs> A beard and everything. So if you notice, there is some graffiti here. We have not seen a lot of that. Um, there, there's in certain areas, there is some graffiti, but I mean, most of it is fairly clean. Look at that old building. And we got a toy store here. We got Hot Wheels. Kitty Corn Surprise. Oh man, Dave and Carrie are out in uh, Arizona. At Rock County. Oh, nice. You gotta make sure you get into some fire agates down there. Yeah, or Pecos Diamonds, since you guys were by the Pecos River. Ciao. Should look up Pecos Diamonds. I don't know if you're in the right spot for them there. I think they're more south from where you guys were. This must be Toy Street. Corn surprise, that sounds appetizing. Yeah. But it's pretty uh pretty wild here. Look at these 100 ton hammers. Those are heavy. And then there's a lot of these like North Face uh I forget what the name of that one is. Uh, all these uh, designer clothes shops here that uh, that are, in fact, knockoffs. Uh, Wait, I need to take Maui Howie's advice and ignore them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it feels rude. It, it feels rude, but yeah. Um, and then above all the shops, there's like homes and stuff. Like they got a bridge out there and then there's a guy in that in that one right there hello <laughs> that guy just laughed at me for saying sun chow yeah i heard that it catches them off guard so north face jacket 200k four dollars for that um which is a pretty good price for a North Face jacket if you've ever shopped for a North Face jacket. All right. Yes? I uh, just want to make sure we're up on. So, yeah, Dave and Carrie are in the Fire Agate country. Yes. Oh, good. Can't wait to see what you guys find. Where um, are you from where the place you're? Oh, we're probably um, still a 10 minute walk or even a five minute walk from where we're staying. Um, yeah, we, we haven't roamed too far. Well, like, like I said, we walked 11 miles yesterday. 
Uh, but we haven't gone too far. Yeah. That way how he says knockoffs on the bags and stuff. Yeah, we're expecting most of it is going to be knockoffs, but, you know, it's still, still interesting to see what they have. Um, doesn't seem to have road rules. Yeah, there is no road rules. Oh, yeah, it's, there is no They're road. driving on the sidewalk. Yeah, let me show you. The, it's getting uh, piled up here. I just had to say no, like, several times to, uh, yeah. Yeah. to that guy in the hat over there. Um, what has surprised us the most so far? Uh, how real it is. Like, eh. we've watched YouTube videos on Vietnam for about a year now. And uh, it's not, I don't know, it's different than, um, than watching it. It's like, being here is, it, it's crazy. It's just so different. Um, I don't know, how would you explain being here? It's just, like, everything that you imagine Vietnam is, all, all those preconceived notions, everything you hear about, it's that and 10 times amplified. Yeah. It's very surreal to know we're like on the other side of the world and that they live so differently, yet in some ways so similarly. And we feel really safe here. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm walking around with my, uh, my phone held out in front of my face okay. on, uh, on a tripod. Like somebody could easily just walk by and, and uh, snatch you. So there's... Um, I believe that might be a hair salon down in here. So there's a lot of dark alleys in, in Vietnam that All I, don't, right. I don't know if you could just go. Oh, I was just, I just noticed that Anna and Max are here. Oh, Hi, yeah. guys. Hi, guys. We love you. We hope you guys are doing good in Canada. And then also my cousin Alex is here, who oh. is from China. Nice. Hi, Alex. That's the biggest dog we've seen here. That's a beautiful dog. Aw, hi, Buffy. Uh, you think we could uh, bring your mom home that in a, in a bag? Yeah. <laughs> Did you show the puppy dog? Yeah. Aw. There's so many dogs around here. And cats. Last night we were... Uh, um, we were having banh mi's, which is a Vietnamese sandwich for dinner. And this little dog just jumped up in the chair next to me and uh, uh, curled up and sat down. It was cute. <laughs> Lisa wants the big vase too. And then there's just food stalls everywhere. Like you can just get food everywhere. Yeah, there's people making food back there. Yeah, we've been making food right over here. There's food here. Um, a lot of people, when they have a store like this, they'll set up a little food vendor out front and uh, make money both ways. Now, notice the entryways to these buildings. They're all about um, three meters across, which is like a little over six feet. And that's because here in the old quarter, when they originally plotted it all out, it was for little shacks, like little produce stands and stuff. And then they started building these uh, tunnel houses where they just kind of keep building up and up and up. And it's turned into this, these very narrow. Very narrow, homes. very tall buildings. So really interesting architecture. <laughs> And then you'll see some uh, French influence, too, because the French occupied Vietnam from the late 1800s to the 1950s. What's the temp there? I see some people wearing sweaters. It is uh, 76. Can you look at the temperature real quick? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, we're back to the. We're back to this street. All right. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. It is very humid. I am sweating so much. <laughs> all right, you guys have all seen this street, this. so um, let's find us another street. But yeah, like Liz was saying about the uh, the, the tunnel houses, like everything is just built up and it's like three to five meters across. And uh, sometimes you'll get like, a, that'll be a hotel room, that'll be a hotel room, hotel room, hotel room. And then sometimes at the top, they'll have a communal kitchen or kitchen area. Uh, that's what we've seen in a lot of these like rentals. Uh, but it's, it's very interesting just looking at these buildings and wondering, you know, who built them? And is there any building codes? Because so, I mean, some of these buildings are very old. Like very, very old. But it's still pretty amazing just looking at them. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid filming certain people and. Um, you know, things like that. Uh, let's see. And we're literally just walking around <laughs> on the street next to all these motorcycles and such. Try not to get run over. I love these ladies, the aunties with the baskets of flowers. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, no, no building codes or OSHA. Yeah. Let's cross the street. <laughs> Never heard of her. Then cross the street. Okay. Oops, gotta pay attention. You gotta have your head on a swivel around here. Yeah. Yeah, look at those buildings right in front of us. Let's see, this guy has a speaker. So he rides around selling his wares with the speaker. And there's a guy that drives around uh, with a, a speaker that says coffee. Mm, birds. Wow, look at the table inside this restaurant. Oh, wow. It has, uh, looks like Chinese writing on it. I wonder if it's a Chinese restaurant. Hoa Lam Tra, that's Vietnamese. I think that's the, the street number and name of the street. Oh, okay. They do get a lot of Chinese tourists because we're right next to China. So you're, we're gonna see a lot of English on the signs and Chinese. Oh, Chinese and jewelry. Hmm. I, we're very tempted, but I don't want to bother somebody without asking for permission first. Hi, Desiree and Carolyn. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to Vietnam. <laughs> Feel bad for those birds. They were in the jungle last week. Yeah. And see, like, they, these are their pickup trucks. Oh, thank you, Alex. That sign said T. Oh. Okay. I was wondering if you were still watching, Alex, and I was hoping you would say something. <laughs> that says Micah. I don't know what they sell in oh. here. Oh, musical instruments. Crossing the street. <laughs> oh, is that music going to be an issue? Uh, probably not on the live. Okay. But it could be. There's another bicycle selling music. fruit. Vegetables. I guess that's not fruit. Please 
don't ban us, YouTube, for the music. <laughs> Now's my chance to dance across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, look at the door handle on this. Yeah, Beautiful. Opal is going to miss the heck out of us. We miss the heck out of her. I wish we had her here. That would be amazing. She'd look so cool driving down the streets of Hanoi. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. Wow. I like that hollow log one. Oh, yeah, it's got like bugs on the inside, carved. Yeah. Sorry, it's focusing on the street behind it. It's hard to say. Yeah. All right. All right, we're at 50 minutes. We're, we're gonna go at least another 10 minutes, guys. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Thank you. Um, we love sharing this stuff with you guys. Like that's a big part of it here for us. Look at these, uh, is that goose or ducks? Those are goose. I think, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate you guys being here with us. Uh, what? I can't hear anything, it's so loud. <laughs> I said we really appreciate them being here with us. I mean, I can't believe oh, we got yeah. 53 people watching right now. I know, that's our biggest live yet. So, that is amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. Alex just asked, how much dongs are we carrying with us? <laughs> um, well, let's see. Over a million, I can tell you that. Um, I think I counted so I, this morning that we had uh, almost two million left out of the three million we pulled out, which is $120. Uh, it was like $124 for three million dong. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're on Clothing Street here. High-end Clothing Street. Go live when you eat. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we thought about going live uh, for breakfast. Yeah, we might try that now that we're getting a little more comfortable with doing lives. Yeah. I mean, eating and filming is a skill in itself. Yeah. You wouldn't think so, but it, it is. Whoops. Eating with this beard is a skill in itself. It catches everything It, it does, it catches so much stuff. <laughs> I love sugar mama and daddy, because we're millionaires and dongs. <laughs> Yeah, we will go live more in Vietnam. I, we might go live more often, but we still are like, we're, we're filming videos too. So we just don't want to overwhelm you guys with too many videos. We got a cheers from just west of Darrington, our hometown in Washington. Jealous of y'all's experience. Keep safe and hunt those rocks from Chemo Brain Travels. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jay and Maggie. Hi, Jay and, and the Maggie. kiddos. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the street for a minute here. What's your plans for the next few days? Um, we don't plan things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, we, uh, we plan on walking around and exploring the city more, maybe finding some more interesting things. Yeah. Get you a beard cut. Um, oh yeah, I gotta get a beard. Also, cut. a hunt for a wallet. Uh, we'll show you guys in a coming video how bad Charlie's wallet is. I'll show him now. Oh okay. All right, sneak peek of the wallet. I've had this wallet for I don't know years, and it's time to get a new wallet. So we'll be going shopping for a new wallet. Uh, probably in one of the big shopping centers they have here, so we can just show you guys around. Look at all these blankets on this bike right behind this black car. So like, I mean, I, you could just stand here on the corner for hours just watching people. 
Like, and you could just get yourself a bon me right here and sit down in these little chairs. Yeah. And then just sit here and have your food and watch all these people. Uh, Simley, is it okay if I film the camera? The camera here? Huh? Oh, it, um, is it okay? Oh, okay. Come on. She said it's okay to film. So this is a banh mi restaurant. Um, notice the French bread. That's because of the French influence. Um, their banh mi's are so delicious. It's like this um, Vietnamese flavor meets French bread. <laughs> if you can imagine that. It's just, it's so good. A perfect combination. And uh, 25000 for a banh mi. So, which is a dollar. Yeah, which is a dollar. Uh, even with egg, it's a it's twenty five thousand. With meat, it says bread, bread cow. Um, with meat, it's thirty thousand. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. All right. So yeah, a dollar for a sandwich, um, and that's the dollar menu in Vietnam. You missed that joke. I said, that's the dollar menu in Vietnam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's dollar menus everywhere. Send us all one. Yeah, I wish we could. We have to find out how much shipping is for sending stuff to our Patreons. Uh, because we would love to send some stuff to our Patreons. Look at this lady across the street, right? There. Yeah. All right, uh, let's keep walking. Oh no, Maui Howie. <laughs> Similar. Better than our dollar money. Yeah, it is. We do need to buy bottled water here. Uh, apparently, even the locals drink water bo or bottled water. I'll show you another dark alley. Now, this means that there's a shop down here. I don't know what kind of shop because I don't know how to read Vietnamese. But uh, look at their their phone line and power situation here too. Watch customs with shipping too. You need to purchase. Uh, I missed it. Avoid anything that could be allowed, like wood cars. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen a few uh, people on YouTube trying to send something made out of wood before. And I did forget about it. Thank you. That was a really good tip, Ken. Yeah. Thank you. I wouldn't have thought of that. Could not pay me to go down there? Why not? <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Getting up from the little chairs, Lisa, it is comical. And it's scary to sit on them because we are much heavier than the Vietnamese people. I love these little walkways. Xin chào. Xin chào. I don't think this one goes out. Um, you're probably right. Yeah, I don't think this one Yeah, goes. this does not go out. I think we just broke into somebody's house. We might have. <laughs> Yeah, that electrical is all. And now you're lost. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a little lost. That's all right. You just turn around and go back the same way. 
That's why I would not go down there. <laughs> Nobody chased us off though. That's the thing. Like the lady's just like, what are these Americans doing here? That's a very large man. Here's another one. Should we go down this one? Yeah, now I'm afraid to go down the little alleys. <laughs> All right, well, there was some sort of shop somewhere in there. Yeah, like, look how old this building is. Oh, that's cool. See the tree growing out of it? Oh, I'm sure the Thailand Electrical Works is just as fun. Alright. Go around this guy. Yeah, Alex, I think you're right. I think that was their home. It's hard to tell because the homes are not traditional like we're used to. Um, so yeah, definitely. That was our bad. Yeah. But at least they were nice about it. <laughs> And now you got to peek in some Vietnamese home. <laughs> That's a load-bearing tree. <laughs> it's a lo it might be a load-bearing tree. So next time on Home Invasions. <laughs> so behind me is a pharmacy. Oh. No, it's fine. You can do that. Um, well, my head was in the way. And you can go into a pharmacy and pretty much get whatever. Yeah. If you were in the U.S. doing that, you would have been shot. Yeah, probably it would have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But in the pharmacy, you can go in and get pretty much prescription stuff here. And yeah, there. I did pick up a prescription actually, and there was no paperwork. I was able to um, chat with them about what I needed. It was very professional, but like it was so foreign to me to yeah. just go into a pharmacy and get my prescription. So I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. Yeah. Uh, I had to turn the, the camera because there was police going by and you're not allowed to film the police. Oh, okay. Um, so that. Which is fine. Okay. Um, we're at an hour. Do you think we should we still have quits? Or do you guys want to... Do you guys want to see a little bit more or... Like 20 more minutes? Yeah, we usually keep it to an hour, but this is exciting, I know. I don't think we'll be doing any more home invasions, though. Yeah. Well, Desiree said yes, Carolyn said more, so I think... All right, let's keep walking yeah. and But we'll if you have to go, do. don't worry about it. Yeah, if yeah. you have to go, you can come watch this again later, You're not too. prisoners here. <laughs> more home invasions, let's go. <laughs> See what other crimes we can commit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and hi, Lisa. Lisa W. We have two Lisas in there. It's just as fascinating, like in person, as it is uh, just you know walking around. Okay, I'll let you guys decide. We're at a four-way crossing. Actually, we're at a five-way crossing. Oh, man, that's a beautiful street. Uh, number one, number two, number three, or number four. You guys pick. One, two, three, or four. Or the good Vietnamese person? Yeah, Moat or... Hai Ba Sao. One, two, three, or four. Moat one, Hai four, Ba four, four, four. Sao. That's four. three fours in a row. Okay, we're gonna go with that. All right, uh, so uh, one, two, three, four. 
You guys just wanted to keep us safe by not crossing that street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got one and two and two, two. All right, we'll go down two next. Ah, uh, thanks for watching on your break, Sean. Hopefully you have some good food while you're seven. watching. I like seven, seven's a good answer. Sorry if we talk over each other, we really cannot hear each other well here. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit loud. It's everything all at once in Vietnam. Yeah, it is. So we're also trying to stay alive too. <laughs> Oh yeah, they do have a Circle K, and apparently this was a hack for Vietnam because Circle Ks will have uh, AC in them. So in the summer or even now when it's super hot, you can get a break. Yeah. Get some snacks. And let's see, Circle K prices. Uh, 18,000, so that's like just uh, under a dollar for one of those Snickers. 40,000, that's uh, it's $1.50 for two Snickers. I think that's uh, buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, chips, $2, $1.50. Toothbrushes and toothpaste from four, five, about six bucks for two. So it's kind of crazy, like it's $2 for a package of chips, right? Yeah. So t you can buy a bowl of pho for $1 to $2. So you can have an actual meal at a street vendor versus buying a prepackaged bag of chips. So it's cheaper to eat healthy here in Vietnam, which is kind of opposite in America where we're from. So this is a, I don't know, melon soda for 39K. This is a beer for 32K, which is like $1.50. Curious about their grab and go. Um, okay. They do have a few American things like Oreos. Ice cream Oreos, strawberry cream Oreos. And this looks like Pocky, which yeah. isn't American, but it looks like Pocky. Uh, I think Pocky is Japanese. Case. Steamed bun. Yeah, I think that is why they're thinner, Lisa. Cheese bun. Steamed bun. Uh, salted egg custard, dim sum. Ooh, that That's a dollar for the dim sum. Um, caster cake. Sticky rice and Ken wants to see what flavor chips there are. Chips? Yeah, which are over here. Oh, right? okay. Oh, this is you find green some? tea Kit Kats. Oh, wait. wait, Snickers with oats? <laughs> now we're gonna get hungry. Yeah, <laughs> we are gonna get hungry. How right, is it? Over chips? here. All right, chips. We got teriyaki, New York, which looks like steak flavor. Uh, regular. Looks like just sour cream and chives. What are these? Tom Hum. Oh, sorry. It's is that a crawfish? Oh, that is. I think so. Crawfish or lobster? Or a crawdad, where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> barbecue. Oh, we got lay stacks. We got hot and spicy barbecue. Oh, Jeff hot recognized something. Salted egg custard is amazing. Huh. Hot chili squid, spicy lobster. Squid flavor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, that was Lay's too. Uh, I think Brad and Jill said get the Lay's. Get the Lay's. <laughs> uh, we will be doing a snack video for you guys. I'm going to get out of here.
So yeah, we'll, we're, we're gonna do a whole video where we go and we get snacks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> sorry if this is making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to navigate here. It was much quieter in that store. Uh, we're gonna try some weird snacks and some some Americanized snacks uh, and things like that in a in a whole video in itself. Um, I think it's cheaper to go to these other little convenience stores like this one. Wait, so Brad and Jill have tried the squid chips. Oh, they have. They said that they're young. Huh. All right, we'll have to try those next time. We haven't been very hungry lately because of, you know, jet lag and such. But uh, we plan on doing some eating. And I don't know if we told you guys yet, but in preparation for Vietnam, we started kind of microdosing meat into our diet to get our stomachs used to it because we plan to immerse ourselves in the food culture here. Um, now, when we come back, we won't be eating meat again because I can't. But while we're here, we're going to do Vietnamese things. Okay. So we are on Door Handle Street. Oh yeah, we found ourselves here yesterday and it's pretty interesting. Yeah, this whole street is just door handles and uh, I don't know what those were. Sorry. Squirrel. Uh, let's go this way, babe. Okay. And then we'll try and circle back to number two since a lot more people wanted to see number two. We're getting very comfortable. Oh, hey, is that the next Opal? You think that's the next Opal? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, Plan Adventure said, have you seen any nightlife? We actually, we were um, trying to find dinner last night and accidentally ran into, I think it was the Beer Street. Oh, man. And uh, it was super crowded and it was where all the non-locals were. So it was um, all tourists. Um, but it looked like from looking at the menus, you can get beer for like 50 cents to a dollar each which is crazy considering I don't know what a go going rate for a beer at a restaurant in the U.S. is right now but I have a feeling it's probably over five dollars yeah we're not we're not much drinkers um so we really don't know how much a beer in a bar is it's part of how we live frugally we don't, uh, don't partake in such things. What is that? Oh. What's this guy fixing? Oh, it's fan repair. So yeah, they, there's, there's people doing fan repair. It's the second shop I've seen with fan repair. Uh, did you see Mally Howie said, uh, if you do any nightlife stuff, be careful videoing. YouTube is very critical about that. Oh, yeah, I can see. Because there was, like, a lot of, like, dancing ladies in the windows and stuff. Well, there's, a, um, like, the balloons and stuff, I think, is also... A thing. We didn't see anybody partaking in the balloons, so apparently they sell balloons full of laughing gas uh, down in Ho Chi Minh City. And, uh, Which is what they give you at the dentist. Yeah. Um, so it's crazy that they just hand it out here. Um, and it is a country where uh, basically all drugs are illegal. Yeah. Um, yet the laughing gas isn't. Yeah. Um, how far are we from our hotel? We're probably less than a 10 minute walk. Our, our hotel is in the middle of all this, which is kind of cool. 
which is why we added an extra couple days. Uh, the reason you aren't seeing any kids is that it's a weekday and it's middle of the day. They're in school right now. Yeah. Uh, okay, street number two is this way. Let's go back to street number two. Oh yeah, I guess there has been a couple babies out. You're right. Yeah, I, I just saw see. one. Thank you. It's funny seeing the kids on the motorbikes. They'll have like entire families of like four on a motorbike. And like we saw this cute kid last night. He had a corn on the cob that he was just waving around while he was being driven around. It was oh, and, just uh, adorable. The ladies in uh, skirts ride, like if they're riding along with somebody else, they will ride side saddle on a bike. Which or drive cool. with like stiletto heels. Yeah. And their their helmets will have little like cutouts in the back for their ponytail. Oh, it looks like they're doing construction over here. Yeah. Blue tarp construction. Okay, I'm back at the Circle K. Let's go this way and then take a left. Get back to street number two. A hotel tour, that will be on Sunday's video. We're trying to um, keep our location a little private because we are up to date on our videos. So We're live. Yeah, we're actually live, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but um, we just, you know, like always, even when we're in the U.S., we keep our location private, except for our Patreon members know. Oh, thank you, Mo and Jen. Oh my That's gosh, amazing. you guys. Okay, let's try not to get killed. Uh, thank you so much. Get to street number two. Yes, thank you guys so much. Uh, let's cross this way first. You know, it's so cool seeing how other people live and the areas they're from. And like Mo and Jen, uh, they're the couple that we went to go see and video we showed it in Ohio. And Mo and Jen gave us this incredible, like intimate tour of how people live in rural Ohio. And it was amazing. So this just reminds me of that, just being able to see how people live somewhere else. Are you ready to cross you? Yeah, let's do it. Go. Say a prayer, everybody. We made it, I think. Okay, we made it. All right, this is street number two, the one with all the trees. And there are some trees here that are amazing. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta show them this. Look at these two big buildings next to this uh, other building here. Just, it's like the Up House in the movie <laughs> Up. They never sold. That's cool. All right, what do we got here? Local food since 2018. Wheel Coffee Adventures. Um, tofu, yogurt, milk tea, and sweet soup. Dessert by Trang Lee. I'm like, look at this sign here. So when we, uh, we posted this live, we then looked at the weather, and the weather said it's supposed to rain today, but it has not. Um, Thank goodness, because it was supposed to rain right when we went live. I'm like, look at this tree. That's amazing. I wonder what that means. So it's M, M Ben Zeng. Uh, pull up your Google Translate. Let's see. We're actually hotspotting off of one SIM card right now, because we haven't gotten a SIM card yet. We were trying to save a little money. Okay. Just looking up what this means. 
Yeah, I gotta change it to Vietnamese. For some, some reason I'm on Thai. Okay. Oh, I mean, that's English to Vietnamese. Hold on. Uh, no, sw- hit the arrows oh. in the middle. Okay. And now type in am. Am, van. Zang. Zang. G I A N G. A G's are, have a Z sound to them. Ying Van Zang. It's probably somebody's name. Oh, maybe. Huh. I don't know. But look at how the, the roots are just growing around this thing, too. Isn't that amazing? Hi, Janet. It's Mama Blanc. Hello. So one of the things I want to see here is uh, a bonsai garden. And um, what's funny is looking out from our hotel, uh, which we'll show you Sunday, the view from our hotel room, um, there's a, a bonsai garden on a rooftop out there. And every day we've been here, which is one day, but there's, a, there's an old man that comes out and he takes care of his bonsais like at least two times a day. And it's hard to figure out where exactly entrances to buildings are and houses, as you saw in our little home invasion. Um, (laughs) uh, So I don't know where this guy lives, but I want to find this guy. Like, I want to open the window and try yelling at him in Vietnamese and see if we can get a a view of his his bonsai garden. That would be awesome. Uh, Jake says, does people down there like Americans? I think That's so. Nobody is. Know, yeah. Nobody has been rude to us or anything that we know of. Yeah. I mean. I mean, maybe maybe they'll they'll charge us more or yeah. or something, but uh, for the most part, everybody's friendly. And um, we're not going to talk much about politics or wars or anything uh, during our Vietnam experience here, yeah. but I will say that. Um, Uh, Ho Chi Minh, who uh, the city of Ho Chi Minh City is named after, he uh, he wanted all the people to be forgiving to Americans, and um, so that's they kind of follow that. It seems. Yeah, and that we'll just leave it at that. That's all we'll talk about, Mm -hmm. and uh, let's continue our tour. Let's continue our tour. So we've probably walked, I don't know, what, what's your uh, little odometer say how far we've walked right now? Oh, let me check. Looks like an American Jeep. Oh yeah, um, definitely. An American Jeep. We've walked three and a quarter miles with, I don't know what that is in kilometers, but. Uh, what was it? Uh, three point three and a quarter. Three and a quarter miles. Okay. That does include our breakfast, though, this morning, oh, which yeah. was down the street and back. Yeah, it was not that far. Didn't know the hole was seaworthy. Uh, uh, I keep losing <laughs> the chat here. Mr. Chubby Hubby, thanks for joining us. That's been a long sail. It was a long flight. I can tell you that. Oh man, eighteen hours on a plane is no fun. <laughs> but uh, it's most another cool tree. I don't even know what kind of trees these are, but they're just amazing. So yeah, I've seen a few of the American, ooh, that tree is amazing. Yeah. Of the American, somebody commented about the Jeeps. Yeah, Um, Yeah, there was one back here. I think, so there's the Hazang Loop, which is this drive up in the mountains. I think people rent them to go do that, Uh, but it's, it can also, it's probably better done in a motorcycle. Motor, motorcycle. I think anything's better done in a motorcycle. You got textiles here. It's annoying. Lady just carrying around some random meat. Mm. 
Americans with beards? Um, yeah, I haven't really seen Americans with beards, except in the mirror. Look at that fire just going on right over there. Cooking bon mies. Is that old train bridge? Oh, we must be by Train Street. Oh, yeah. So Train, train Street is kind of a, it's a touristy location, which that. we're tourists. We're not saying we're not tourists. But um, <laughs> it's where uh, the train goes through the street and you can sit and have a coffee or whatever and the train goes like right by your face. Sounds incredibly dangerous, but awesome. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Look at this beautiful tree too. Oh, and remember how I was telling you about the helmets with the ponytail hole? There's one. Yes, Opal is in very good hands. She is with Grandma Duncan. <laughs> Oh, we've, even, we've seen a few Porsches here, um, which, you know, and obviously here's a Mercedes, which, with the Vietnamese dollar being the way, way it is, it's got to be, you know, multi-billions uh, of dong for a, a Porsche. And last night we even saw a Ferrari, like a Ferrari F40 which is one of the most expensive Ferraris. So, yeah. Alex said, try the local uh, Bumbo Hue. Bumbo Hue. Uh, Alex, can you describe that dish? I'm There's sure it's whole, amazing. That was one of the streets we were on had all the Bumbo Hue. Oh, Bumbo really? Hue. Hey, it's hard to speak. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know what it is, if he can describe it. Wow, look at this little tunnel here. So cool. It is very dangerous walking the streets here, Janet. We uh, have to watch our every step. Yeah, there's tripping hazards everywhere. As you can see, we're both wearing our Crocs and socks. Oh, Sinlay. I mean, excuse me. You guys haven't heard already. Are you showing them the food as we I, go I'm back? I'm trying to <laughs> discreetly show them the food, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's just like food everywhere. Ken wanted us to go through the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm kind of curious about Yeah, I am too. Sure. It looked very inviting. Let's go it's probably somebody's house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it's somebody's house. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a tough one, guys. Yeah. We're at a crosswalk, as you can see. Um, so we got to wait for the car. Oh, watch out for this guy. All right, ready? Ready. So I'm putting my hand out as I go. Yeah. And I just kind of park as you go. Whew. It is so weird to just intuitively navigate yeah. <laughs> across streets. Oh, this is kind of like what we saw with the porcupines in oh, that one video. Oh, maybe they're keeping porcupines out of the way. They're probably keeping rats out of their vehicle. They do have porcupines in Vietnam. I wonder, you think they have Or maybe in the it city? was in Laos. They have tigers in Laos. Laos. Or Laos. Uh, yeah, we, we get Laos. so confused. Um, okay. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of coming in here 
or arrested. We did, uh, our first day, we walked through this one area that was, uh, we got yelled at. They're like, hey, you can't go through here. Oh, look how quiet it got. I don't know, if, can you guys hear the, the ambience of the street noise here? It's quieter in here. Yeah. So somebody asked how much gas is. We haven't priced that yet. Yeah, we haven't priced that yet. Let's go this way. There's pretty flowers. Is there somebody down here. cooking over wood here? Oh, it's incense. Oh, that oh. smells amazing. I don't know. That might be cooking. That smells like incense. It does smell like incense, though. Wow. You guys, we found the quietest place in, in Hanoi. Yeah, it's so quiet. <laughs> See, ciao. You know, I bet you these are all... You know, I think this is where, uh, like, people live. Yeah, this is definitely residences. Yeah. But there's also lashes and nails training place right here. The Lash Annie and Kwa Home as being home. Yeah, these are definitely people's homes. Which home I'm invasion. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> when we were planning for Vietnam, we watched a bunch of uh, travel YouTubers and there's this guy that <laughs> he actually does that and calls them home invasions. Yeah. But if we invade a home, we would like to do it with permission. Yeah, <laughs> Not the way definitely. we just did it. <laughs> Apparently we're getting more bold with our filming, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bananas. Xin <laughs> chào. We've seen so many fruits and vegetables I've never seen in my life. And the herbs that they give you for like the pho soup, um, there's this one, it, it tastes like basil, but it's like a cross between basil and cilantro. I want to know what it's called, but it's amazing. Oh, they have tongue in there. The meal that tastes you back. Hi, digging with Deej. Thanks for joining us. I said 20 more minutes and we're at another half an hour. <laughs> You guys have been watching for an hour and a half. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. The time goes by fast here. It does. Uh, True North said, are you going to cook or just eat out? Uh, it's almost the same price to do both. Um, we plan on cooking some meals, uh, but so far we, you know, we've only been here a day and have not gotten, uh, um, we haven't seen a grocery store. Yeah, and we don't have a hot plate or anything. The hotel, it does have a mini fridge, but um, nothing to cook with. Yeah. And as you can see by a little bit of fog on the lens, it is uh, getting humid in here. It's very humid, like, I'm sweating. This is the Vietnamese flag. It's very simple, just all red with a gold star. All right. Little laptop store or repair store. And look at these trees that have just... Almost fell. Almost fell in front of a car. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't very good. Uh, the tree roots have just, like, grown out of their old little square casing here. Um, yes, we did bring the big boy camera. <laughs> yes, we did. We're going to be lugging it around. Hopefully it wasn't a mistake. Yeah. I haven't even brought it out yet. But I, I, I think I'm going to spend a, a good day doing some street photography around, see what I can get. Some 
more chips. Karma? Oh. Sweet chips? Chumoy, so egg, uh, egg chips. More squid. The sign up there it just says meet you. Meet you. It says uh, the right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. And uh, it's a mirror. That's so sweet. <laughs> Oh, see, they, they do have some pickup trucks here. What made us choose Vietnam? Um, we wanted a place where we could afford to uh, spend time, a lot of time. And uh, it turns out that uh, Vietnam, with it being so affordable, it, uh, it allows us to stay here for a long period of time cheaper in the long run than uh, being in Washington or, or the United States at all. And I can't film this way because it's a military building. Actually, I'm going to turn the camera around to me and film up because uh, there's a couple of uh, military people walking around here. And I don't want to get in trouble for that. All right, uh, should be past them now. They're very snazzily dressed. Uh, they're did you see that lady who was stripping copper out of the electric wire? I did not. I was I trying know. to avoid filming the military guys. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me clean you guys off real quick. All right, that didn't help much. Okay, so military guys are very snazzily dressed. They're in, in green. Uh, they have the uh, bright red patches with This is the, stars. Uh, the People's Army building right here. So yeah, we can't I can't film right the here. People's Army building either. Um, and uh, they that look guy, pretty nice. I'm yeah, filming we, up. We need to get out of this spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy just gave us a bad look. Yeah. So, sorry for this little section here. Just yeah, maybe we will get arrested in Vietnam. We might, <laughs> if we're lucky. Government <laughs> invasion. Stay tuned for that, <laughs> or that video. Okay, back to a normal street. Oops, that's me again. You guys have a great day. Catch you next live. Looking forward to Sunday's video. We'll see you later at One Adventure. Thanks Bye for joining guys. us. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see your video next Saturday. That's right. Can't, see what, can't wait to see what you guys found. And actually, we should probably call it a... We should probably call it quits here. Yeah. So. All right. Well, yeah. So that's been an hour and 40 minutes of uh, yeah. walking around Vietnam. Thank you guys. There's thank still 45 so people watching, so thank you for watching this very long video. We wish we could uh, keep going for a while. There's a military guy staring at us right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we will see you later. Yes, Christmas lights and decorations we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show that in Sunday's video too. But we will see you later. And uh, yeah. Bye now. Bye now. That was fun. That was so much fun. I'm glad you guys could come with. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your donations, too. Yes, that we love amazing. you guys, all of you. Thank you so much. Have wonderful evenings or mornings wherever you are in the world. Yeah, and we'll do another live, too, because this was fun. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bye, <laughs> Bye now. now.